Hello Gemini, welcome back to your reading for the week ahead. So let's see what this beautiful lunar eclipse is going to bring to you collectively. So the lunar eclipse in Sagittarius is today. So let's see. Raccoon. Swan. The message very strongly is saying for me that maybe around you there is some players or a player um, who don't really tell who they really are. They are wearing a mask. They perform, they perform, you know, the role that you want to see. They want to fit that perfect picture. They want, you know, to be as beautiful as you are or how they perceive you. If it is a new encounter for you, Gemini, um, they will try their best um, to fit your, you know, or tick, tick all the boxes that you are looking in the man or woman. If let's say you are, you know, going on a date, they will be at the best behavior. They won't show really who they are. Um, however, they see you as a very beautiful um, individual. I, I, I feel that they admire you strongly. They see you um, beautiful from outside and, and inside. You are an inspiration. You are a source of the creativity for them. And they see that. Also, I feel that if for some of the Geminis might be the case that you are coming as a person who is not honest with yourself. Maybe you, Gemini, are trying to please people and you really don't show that real face who you are. Um, and that obviously puts you uh, under a lot of pressure and you feel, you know, very, I would say, not living your life. You are living sort of some, some sort of um, a fake life. A fake life because you want to please everyone and you want you know to get this beautiful feedback how good you are how beautiful you are because you like you know hearing that but what if you would drop the mask and you would be yourself what the feedback you would hear so this is the message that i'm getting for you initially gemini let's have a look what um, tarot has to say in regards clarifying the energies I think you will hear a very, very interesting uh, feedback from people. I think there will be some revelations coming to you. Five of Cups, Four of Cups, the Emperor, and Six of Pentacles. There is someone in uh, authority who is seeing you or perceiving you as a person who is a very valuable in a company who want to give you maybe some monetary help or some some support if you have been struggling if you have been you know really diligently working they want really to help you they will be offering something but i think it's not what you really imagine and you are kind of left with that bitter sense of disappointment that this is not what I really want and I think you are not really understood because you are not allowing yourself to be who you are and you're not telling to the authority directly what is the expectation and I think the cards are very much saying you will need to be open that they could really understand your needs and what support is needed um, because they might like I say, you know, misunderstanding might lead you into um, getting not what you want really or your expectations will be not really met um, in a way that you expect. There is Death card, there is King of Swords, Ace of Wands and Page of Wands. Um, there will be coming some messages towards you very quick. It could be you no know, email, telephone uh, call. Um, it could be as well uh, equally uh, air sign, Gemini, Aquarius or Libra. But this message will be telling you something about completion. Something that is completed, is done. It could be you know, something to do with the tax. 
um, something with the authority institutions, some sort of long uh, term peace that has been ongoing and you haven't had a chance to resolve this, but suddenly you are getting this message and you know it's it's kind of completion it's it's done and now it's forcing you to ask what is next um for some of you it it could be as well a message about that your role is at risk that you might be you know um in a position needing to look for another role internally but everything will work itself. Um, I think you have a very strong um, back uh, by authorities. People are perceiving you very, very well. They will be helping you. But like I say, you need to be very clear. What do you want and what is your expectations? If, if it is to do, you know, regards the job, and it is, you know, very specific. You have to be very clear with them. If it is a relationship, I would say drop, you know, the mask, be very open. The same if you see in this partner or, you know, um, a romantic encounter, tell them, you know, I see you are not yourself. Drop that mask, you know, stop pretending. Tell me really who you are. We get the queen of night. We get the queen passage. We get the Lady of Leprechauns and we get the Lady of Joy. There is some dark energy around you and I think it's is because uh, of this eclipses. It's kind of um, provokes in us uh, to think about the worst, provokes us to think about things that puts us in a very low energy, very low vibration, like even depression. But that will not last you long because there are people who care about you and there are people who want to help you, Gemini, and they will come, you know, with that offer. If it is a friend, if it is uh, a romantic encounter, they will come on your doorstep with a bouquet of flowers, with a bottle of champagne saying, hey, you know, let's celebrate life. Everything is good. And you will start feeling again very very positive so maybe this week you will feel a little bit down but by the end of the week you will feel much happier you will understand you know that not everything is that bad as you might initially thought at the beginning of the week however i just want you know to warn you that you need to be very truthful and assess people around you be very clear with your communication i know that mercury were is going actually tomorrow uh, officially retrograde so you know be very precise clear cr cr crisp clear you know with your communication as you can see my uh, words as well it's it's not coming you know as it should probably mercury is affecting retrograde <laughs> journeyman uh, lady of harvest we get unity and we get the piper. I feel that uh, the energy is very strongly speaking about you start to think about your holidays, start planning what you have done in the past, what makes you happy, um, travel or short distance sort of um, visits, um, relatives, cousins, um, even if it is an hour, a couple hours drive, you haven't seen them, go and visit them because this energy really will help you to put yourself, you know, in a better energetic vibration. The unity, you will feel loved, you will feel, um, you will feel, you know, supported, you will feel cared and that will as well um, prompt you to become again creative. You will tap into your creativity. Maybe poetry, maybe a music creation, maybe uh, writing uh, a diary, whatever that is, you need to start planning. Um, I know that you probably are afraid because Mercury is your ruling planet and things might not go according to the plan, but it's not that you need to do now. The Mercury goes direct on, uh, believe, on 22nd of June. So use this month you know for planning scheduling things um and you know bear in mind by 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 the end of uh yeah 22nd you know um 
Mercury goes direct and things will progress. So I think, you know, having some sort of a plan, what you could do potentially in the summer, that really will bring back your energy um, to vibrate high and also would bring people into unity. It will give you a, that necessary boost of energy. So I hope you liked uh, Gemini, my reading. I hope to see you next week. Have a lovely week ahead. Take care.